Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'll show you how you can sign a document using Adobe Acrobat or Photoshop. So first of all, we'll start with Adobe Acrobat, and the form I have is a generic W-4 tax form. This is a pretty common form for artists and designers, because if you make over a certain amount from a client, they're required to send you this form so that you pay the appropriate taxes on the income. And most of the time, documents are going to be in PDF format. That's portable document format. And if you're using Adobe Acrobat, it makes it really easy to fill these out because you can see we have these blue boxes here where I can just type this in. So I'm not an accountant, so I'm not going to explain how to fill this form out. You would want to definitely make sure that you read the instructions and fill this out correctly. But in Adobe Acrobat, you can, for instance, click in the box. You could type one. We'll scroll on down. You can put in your name. Now be careful with things where you're putting in your social security number. Make sure that you send this form to the person that requested it and that you don't accidentally share it or make it public or leave it somewhere where someone could find it. After you've sent it, just go ahead and delete the copy off of your computer if you want. There's check boxes that you can check and you could go and fill in all the rest of this information if you want to. And then when it comes time to sign your document, it gives you an area here, but it wants you to actually sign this. Now, if you have a Wacom tablet, you can use your pen to sign your name, and that's probably the easiest way to do it. If you really had to, you could also use your mouse. Occasionally, some forms will let you just type in an initial, actually just initial using a text tool, and sometimes that's fine. Well, let's go ahead and sign this. I'm gonna click on Tools. And let's go to Fill and Sign. And up here at the top, we'll click on Sign. We can add signature or we can add our initials. Let's add signature. Now it'll automatically create a signature for you if you like, but you can also draw it in by clicking on draw. Or if you want to take a photograph of a hand drawn image on a piece of paper, you could use an image. I'm just gonna draw. Let's just say that this is my signature. It's not really. We could go to apply and then it wants to know where we wanna put that signature. We can click right here to put it here. We can make it bigger or smaller if we want to. We can reposition it. We can go over here to the date and we can add that in. Let's click on sign. Let's go to add initials this time. And rather than initials, let's just put the date. Let's click on apply. Let's just click that right there. We make it a little bit bigger. And then when we're ready to save this, we will go to file, save as, so that we don't save over our original and then your form is ready to be emailed to your employer or client. So that's the easy way. Let's take a look at how to do it with Photoshop just in case you don't have Adobe Acrobat. If I open this PDF in Photoshop, I can choose to import both of these pages. I wanna make sure that I hold Shift and select on all of the pages. I'll click on OK. Now it's gonna have this weird transparent background, so you'll need to add a layer, move it down below that layer, and fill it with white. You'll we'll have to do that with both of these documents here. And then you can create a new layer to input your text. Now, if you wanted to, you could use your Wacom tablet to write in here, and we could select a hard edge brush. That'll be easier to see. You probably wanna make it kind of small. Make sure pen pressure sensitivity is enabled. You might wanna just turn off opacity for pen pressure. And then you could go in here and fill this out and so on. If you wanted to just use a type tool, you could also just select the type tool and you could add some type. And of course you could sign this and you could put the date. And there you go, that's a couple different ways to fill out a form using your computer. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.